It's crazy. These days, trading is looked up to as much as athletes, musicians, influencers, and entrepreneurs are. It's idolized as this amazing, liberating income skill that you can do from anywhere in the world, and there's some truth to that. But having talked to the best CEOs, founders, traders, and investors in this space, and several members of the public, I can tell you that it's not the case that everyone is making money and what you see online is often far from the truth. Today I'm going over how much money day traders actually make trading Bitcoin and altcoins and answering the questions you all probably have on your own mind. How much money can you make trading crypto? Now answer me this question honestly. How often do you ask yourself how much money can I make trading? Maybe you even take out a calculator on your phone and start doing the math. If I make this much money per day, I can make this much per year, etc, etc. And you're not alone because I've done this before and anyone who's ever made any sort of money trading has done this before. Now, if you want to succeed in day trading, these are the entirely wrong questions to ask. If you don't retrain your mind, it can be the very reason that you never see profitable results. Not to mention that the amount of money you could lose and the stress you'll likely feel during that journey. Instead of focusing on how much money you can make, ask yourself if this income generating skill is something you actually want to develop. Remember, if trading does not make you more money than getting another job, Job, whether it's at Starbucks, an office, or something else, then you may reconsider wanting to trade in the first place, at least initially. Trading is glamorized on social media with fancy cars, yachts, and houses, but in reality, trading is lonely, stressful, and can take a serious toll on your mental, emotional, and physical health if you're not careful. Make sure to think about all these things before you want to get into trading, and more specifically, ask yourself the following questions. How is my diet and nutrition? Seems off topic, doesn't it? Have I smashed the subscribe button? Trust me, these are on topic. How is my exercise and workout routine? Am I getting enough sleep? Answering these questions will give you a baseline for your mental and emotional state. Two critical things you need to master before you even touch something as risky and volatile as trading. Now, why am I taking such a harsh approach to trading? Well, that's because you guys see enough of the good parts of trading online. You're seeing all the fancy cars, the fat stacks of cash, the success stories, the ability to work from just a laptop anywhere in the world, you already see that side of it. So I'm trying to bring it back to reality by giving you the other side of the argument. So once you've decided that developing this income generating skill is the right choice for you, how should you think about the potential income that you can make? First, let's talk about the wrong mindset when it comes to thinking about the potential income. You cannot be emotionally attached to your money in any way. If you take trades and become fearful or irritated when you lose money, or you become euphoric and uh, feel a rush when you make money, then it's likely that you're trading with too much money and should trade with less. It could also mean that you need that money to pay your bills, your mortgage, your tuition, or whatever it might be. So what's the right mindset to have? The right way to think about money when it comes to trading is by treating trading like a business. Let's say you want to start a clothing company. You generate revenue from selling shirts, but you also have a variety of costs to run the business, like setting up a new website, raw materials, paying employees, hitting the subscribe button, marketing campaigns, etc. Your goal is to sell enough shirts so you can cover all of your costs and still have plenty left over. Now let's circle this back to trading. After you fund a trading account, your revenue comes from taking on high probability or rather positive expected value trades based on a system that you've developed. You also have costs that you need to take into account like trading fees and the money you give back to the market as a loss when you take your losses on. Your goal is to create a trading system where your revenue covers all of your costs with a system that you can rely on over time. So again, let's circle back to the clothing example. If you used a big marketing tactic, invested a lot of money into it, and it worked one time and made you a whole bunch of revenue for your clothing business, is that enough to quit your job and go start that clothing business? That's the same as taking one big trade and thinking, okay, perfect, time to become a full-time trader. So remember, you need to find a trading system that works over time consistently, not one home run trade that will start your career. 
You also have to understand proper risk management to be able to make your trading turn into a career and not something short term. You need to understand how to calculate a position size, how to calculate your risk to reward ratios, expected value. I actually wrote a free article on how to calculate these sorts of things. I'll leave the article as the first link in the description below. If you're serious about making money, make sure to check it out. It's free. You've got nothing to lose. So at this point, let's talk about when you can start making money day trading before how much money and again this question is like asking how long is a piece of string because there's no definitive answer the reality is that trading is a challenging profession it will test you and it will teach you more about yourself and the way your mind and your emotions operate and your level of commitment to the art the reality is some people might be more naturally suited to trading because there are a few things that can really give you an advantage. For example, if you're good at maths, if you're more mathematically inclined, you're going to be better at trading than someone who isn't. So that's not to say if you're bad at maths, quit trading. It's to say if you're bad at maths or not as good as some other people, be self-aware of that and start training that skill because hard work, consistency and small incremental gains studying just 30 minutes a day and you can overtake most people who rely on only talent another thing which is often overlooked is if you have strong discipline and emotional control this will give you a huge edge in trading but if you're an impulsive or emotional person that's not to say you can't trade you can counteract this again with self-awareness by meditating focusing more on your diet focusing more on your sleep making sure you train these things to improve your discipline and your emotional control so finally how much money do day traders actually make let's discuss three things that'll help answer this question it's important to remember that day trading income is certainly not consistent in most cases it varies a lot depending on market conditions and your edge the number one priority is surviving because it means you manage to keep your capital to keep making money in the long run. So how much money you make is not consistent. Next, it may look like the only thing you have to do to make more money in day trading is to increase the size of your positions or your portfolio, but it's not that case. If you trade with $1,000 and you make $100 per day, that does not mean that if you trade with $100,000, you will make $10,000 a day, not even close. Trading $1,000, $10,000, $500,000, $10 million, it's completely different at every stage. There are a number of obstacles that come up, and I've done videos on this before, and I'll probably do more in the future. There are huge psychological challenges to this shift as well. So you need to, again, be self-aware and position yourself in a way where you can scale up. And your edge changes as well. It's not linear. You may be making 100% a year with $10,000, but only 1% a year with a million dollars. It really changes drastically. Quick third point I want to bring up. Remember, trading isn't the only way to make money in this market. You can do things like yield farming, where you can earn anywhere from 10 to, I've seen it go up to a thousand percent recently recently absolutely insane returns and there's much more opportunity in crypto as well uh, i'll post a video i did on crypto passive income right over here hopefully now that i've given you all that preface let's talk about how much money you can make so it really depends on market conditions in a bear market in a neutral market and in a bull market things change drastically i've seen people make a lot more in different market conditions depending on their trading systems and styles now, assuming you're trying to trade with good risk management and make this a long-term career, I'll share some numbers which can give you some idea of what's reasonable to make with different portfolio sizes in the current very aggressive bull market. Now, yes, I've seen people go from thousands to millions in these insane con conditions, but for every crazy success story like that, there's going to be a thousand people who've lost absolutely everything. If you're trading with a thousand dollars, you're probably going to be a lot more aggressive than people trading with larger portfolios. Therefore, making up to five hundred dollars a month, yes, that is insane and would require a lot of risk, is very possible. And I've seen it happen consistently in these market conditions. Just the other day, someone shouted me out on YouTube, thanking me for being able to turn three hundred dollars into about four thousand. Now let's scale it up a bit. Once we get to the $10,000 range, we're looking at one to $3,000 a month in the current market conditions. Percentage wise, that is huge, but this is not infinitely scalable. It's so important to point that out. I want to preface all of this with, if you're making just two to 5% a month, 
trading, you're already doing really, really well. If you can consistently do that for several years, you will guaranteed make it. You don't need these large returns. I'm just trying to give people expectations for the current market. Now, if we go up to a hundred thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars a month would be reasonable amount that's possible. If someone is very skilled, they can do that consistently. Again, assuming they're not taking on a crazy high risk of ruin. So those would give people some general ideas. Uh, if you need me to tell you how much money you're going to make trading with higher amounts than that, you wouldn't be ready to trade with amounts higher than that. Now, as market conditions change, all of these estimates will come down closer to that two to 5% mark I shared earlier. And remember, it's like answering the question, how long is a piece of string? You will see drastic variability in the amount of money people make. That's all from me. I hope that was really helpful.